Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is Pai Allah from the Jameis London camp, coming back at you again with another installment of um, Daily Bread. Going into a chapter a day to keep the devil away. <laughs> um, this is Matthew chapter 8, verse 1. When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou, can, thou can, canst make me clean. And Yahweh put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Yahweh saith unto him, See thou and tell no man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priests, and offer the gift of gift that Moses commanded for a testimony unto you. So that shows you right there. These Christians talking about the law is done away with, man. Why was um Yahweh Shai keeping the law, man? The one the world calls Jesus Christ. Why was he keeping the law? He healed the man and told him, Look, you've been healed of your leprosy. You need to go down there to the to the um appear before the priests and give the gift that Moses commanded. Alright? That's that's he told he he was telling him to keep the law, okay? And when Yahweh was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home, sick of palsy, grievously tormented. And Yahweh saith unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Okay, now this deep man. All right, I'll show you verse nine. For I am a man under authority. Okay, what did Yahweh Shai read in the previous chapter that Yahweh Shai spoke with great with with great authority? And this was a man in authority, being a centurion. Centurion goes back to the um um the Latin word century, which means a hundred, because he was a, a man over a hundred. Okay, he had a hundred men. He was over. That's why he said, for I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth, and to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. So he commands him, and they do as, as he says. When Yahusha heard him, heard it, he marveled and said to, him, to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down, let me um, dwell on verse 10. When Yahweh Shai heard it, he marveled and said to them that follow, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Okay? So this centurion, he went, was he a Roman? Okay, was he an Edomite? Hell no. Okay, you ain't having no Edomite with great faith. It tells you, man, that the, the, the um, the, um, it's my mind going blank, man. Um, Habakkuk man The spirit that is in him, in him Is not upright in him Talking about Esau Even um, Psalms 50 man And, and Isaiah as well About um, To the heathen To the wicked I say what, Why have you taken Lucy paraphrasing man Why have they take, Why are you taking on the law man Knowing that you, you can't keep it man Alright Because you're innately wicked Okay But he said Verily I say unto you I have found not found so great faith, no, not in. I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Why was that? Why has he not found great faith like that in Israel? Because he, this man, understood that the Yahweh Shai had the command over spirits to go forth and do his bidding, man. Okay, he had total command to just say, "Look, your servants heal," at his command because he had great, greater that centurion's authority. He understood that Yahweh Shai. Had the greatest authority, and that if at his word it will be done, all right. That's why he had great faith, I and mean, that's that's the type of faith we want to, ought to show, and have. Verse eleven, and I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, all right. And at the east or the west is that talking about the heathens again? Hell no. It's talking about the children of Israel. They're gonna sit down with their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the kingdom of heaven, which is the children of Israel, because they make up the kingdom of heaven. Because they'll talk, look, the kingdom, lo, did it come from here or there? 
No, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Okay, the children of Israel. It's a people before it's a place. Jerusalem, the city of peace. Okay. Verse 12. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. Oh, the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. And they shall be weeping and gnashing the teeth. Um, Salakia. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. And they shall be weeping and gnashing the teeth. Okay. Um, talking about the end man destruction coming okay verse 13 and Yahweh Shai said unto the centurion go thy way and as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee and his servant was healed in the self same hour the Lord did it you know on, on, on time and when Yahweh Shai was coming to Peter's house he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of fever of a fever and he touched her hand and the fever left her and she arose and ministered unto them that's some power when the even was come they brought unto him many that was possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick that it may be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses okay he took, he took he had that power to take to fulfill that prophecy man Yahweh Shai Verse 18, now when Yahweh Shai saw great multitudes about him, he had, he gave commandment to depart unto the other side. And a, certain scribe, and a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Yahweh Shai saith unto him, the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the son of man hath nowhere to lay his head. And you're going to follow me, man. That's, that's the life I'm living. I don't have nowhere to sleep. It tells you about um, our forefathers, the prophets, man, that when they were on the earth, they were pilgrims upon the earth seeking for a kingdom to come. Okay? You know, and Yahweh Shai was no different. He gave it all up for what? For the kingdom to do his ministry. So that's something to be uh, mindful of if you're going to follow Yahweh Shai. Uh, verse 21, And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. But Yahweh Shai said unto him, Follow me and let the dead bury the dead. Their dead. Okay, the dead, dead what? So it's, um, Proverbs 21 and 16. Anyone that walketh out the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And these men knew back then, these these the Israelites knew they were Israelites back then. They knew of the law, but what they didn't know of Yahweh Shai, which was life unto them because they were dead. Because why? The covenant between Israel and, um, and, um, and, um, the Most High had been um, basically done done away with, man. Hosea, the first chapter tells you that, and Yahweh Shai was the one that was going to bind us unto the mediator of a new of our faith, unto the Heavenly Father, which will bind us unto the Heavenly Father, making us alive again. All right, so they were dead because they did, they knew not Yahweh Shai, and when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him, and behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves. But he was asleep and his disciples he was catching that sound sleep but his, and his disciples came to him and awoke him saying lord save us we perish and he saith unto them why are ye fearful O ye of little faith then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea and there was a great calm okay <laughs> showing you faith man faith is key he said he arose and rebuked the winds he told the, the winds to cease and the, the water went back to normal man I mean, he didn't say that in that specific word, but, you know, to that effect. But the men marvel, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? And when he was come to the other side, into the country of, of the Gersinis, there met him two possessed with devils coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. And behold, they, them demons empowered them, man. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Yahweh Shai, thou son of the Most High, Yahweh? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? Showing you, Satan understood that he had his liberty and time to do all manner of wickedness upon the earth. And they were scared of Yahweh Shai, showing that his great authority, being the author of our faith, the author and finisher of our faith, and being a, you know, the ruler. Over this whole, uh, this whole world, 
they knew that look man you come to mess with us now like you know ain't we got no time left and and, and there was a good way off from them and the herd of many swine feeding so the devils besought him saying if thou cast us out suffer us to go away into the herd of swine showing you where Satan dwelleth in filthiness man okay and he said unto them go and when they were come out they went into the herd of swine and behold the whole herd of swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea and perished in the waters and they they kept and they that kept them fled and went their ways into the city so even them 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 pigs as foul as they are they knew they were, they were possessed by demons and, and killed themselves man okay and they that kept them fled and went their ways into the city and told everything and that was that what was befallen to the possessed of the devils and behold the whole city came out to meet Yahweh Shai and when they saw him they besought him that he would depart out of their coast they 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 were scared of what Yahweh Shai had done okay so with that man I pray they were edified Shalom.